What's going on guys, it's Jake here, and today we're going to be taking pictures on an award-winning camera. I'm not kidding. Here you go, thanks. This is the Game Boy camera. This was awarded the Guinness World Record for smallest digital camera back in 1999. It's a good year, by the way. This camera boasts a giant 128 by 128 pixel CMOS sensor that allows you to take black and white photos. Each photo comes in a whopping four shades of gray. It's not quite as sexy as 50, but it's still pretty nice. Nintendo was also extremely ahead of the times, allowing you to take selfies on your mobile device. It may not have front and rear facing cameras like your phone does, but you can rotate the camera so you can actually see what the camera sees when you're taking your beautiful selfies. Something that took Sony way too long to figure out with their $3,000 DSLRs. This camera can also be paired with the Game Boy printer to print off your photos. I would show one off right now, but I don't actually have one. I was gonna buy one when I bought the camera, but I didn't feel like spending $60 to print off my photos on a gas station receipt. As cool as that would be, I have other ways to print these pictures. I bought this Flash Boy thing a while back, and it allows me to plug Game Boy cartridges into my computer. So if I really wanted to print these off, I could. But that's not what we're doing today. Today, we're gonna take a color picture on the grayscale Game Boy camera. Let's go over how to do this. First, I grab my modded Game Boy Pocket, my Game Boy camera, and a tripod. I used the pocket specifically so I could fit it in a tripod mount for phones. I grabbed a few colorful things and put them in front of my Switch games. I lined up the camera, and I took the shot. The rest of the process will be pretty easy. I dump the photos onto my computer, I run it through an AI thingamabobber, and boom, it's upscaled and colorized. I'm just kidding, that was taken on my DSi. Next, we want to use some red, green, and blue filters and take the same exact photo three times. That's why I'm using a tripod for this. I don't have any fancy filters like we need, and I don't really want to spend money on something I'm probably not going to use again, so I found some alternatives. I found these green and blue containers and a clear red Betty Crocker lid. Oh, sorry, I probably shouldn't say any other brand names. The sponsor might not like that. Speaking of which, this video is sponsored by mugs. No, not this kind of mug with a picture of my Uncle Randy. This kind of mug. Buy one of my shirts to distract people from your ugly mug this holiday season. I sell shirts like these on my website, RetroRemaster.com. If you don't want to type all that out, there's always a link down below that like button. Now back to that red lid that definitely doesn't have any brand names on it. We're going to use these three things to colorize our black and white images. I don't really want to go into the science of it all, so I'm going to explain it to you like you're a caveman. Color thing make different gray, mush together, make colorful. Why waste time to say lot word when few word do trick? This works because all colors are made up of different amounts of red, green, and blue. That's all the science I got. What do I look like, Jimmy Neutron? But once we've taken our red, green, and blue photos, we can hand it off to other Jake who's at the computer right now. First thing we're gonna do is open up GB Cart Flasher because that's the software that I use with the Flash Boy. We're gonna start with Cart Info. And yep, it is reading the Game Boy camera. So we're gonna look at the ROM size. And we're gonna go over here. We're gonna change the flash to 1024 kilobytes because that is one megabyte. And then we're gonna take the RAM and take it up to 128 kilobytes. And now we are going to read the RAM and I'm just gonna name it GB Camera Save 3. It'll take a couple seconds here. We're gonna go into GB Camera Dump, hit File, load save ROM, and we're gonna open GB camera save three. We're gonna save the current picture. I would find a different folder because for some reason, if you put it in the cart flasher folder, it doesn't wanna work. I have a folder just for GB camera photos, so we'll just do this again. Now we're gonna open up Photoshop. We're gonna do a new file, and you're gonna to wanna to copy these settings here width is 128, height is 112. These are the exact dimensions of the camera, <laughs> the camera picture. Then you want RGB color mode and set it to 8-bit. We want to drag them in to their own spaces. We're gonna do the rectangular marquee tool and we're gonna highlight the entire picture we're gonna hit K, 
control C or copy it and then we're going to go over to the untitled blank one go to channels click on the red and paste it right in there control V again just select it copy and we're going to paste it in the green and then for the blue same thing copy it and paste it in the blue then we're going to go to the layers tab or we're going to click on the RGB and boom this is our fully colored picture now it would look a lot better if we actually took the gels with it it would look a lot nicer but then again for doing it for free <laughs> this was pretty good pretty cool right I know it's not the best photo or colors but it's pretty impressive for such a tiny grayscale camera made by the same people who made this thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed listen to Brittany she's free now if you're new here, please subscribe. Only 1% of my viewers are actually subscribed. If you want to follow me elsewhere, you can always find links down below. Check out my website if you want a modded Game Boy or a cool shirt. And as always, I do have a Patreon if you want to support me there like these awesome people here. But that's going to be it for now, so I will see you guys in the next one. Later, guys. I just realized this mug kind of makes it seem like my Uncle Randy's dead. <laughs> He's not, by the way. Neither of them are. I have two Uncle Randys.